Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to be talking about pretty much what you could consider as the prerequisite to uh, converting a system into whatever form it is into REF and RREF and just for reference that means uh, into row echelon form and reduced row echelon form. So there are three rules that you need to keep uh, to be aware of pretty much when you're looking at a system uh, that could help you make good decisions in terms of simplifying that system into REF or RREF. So the first one is interchanging rows. So you're allowed to pretty much just switch the placement of each uh, row and uh, that would still leave you with the with an equivalent equivalent system. So if this is a system right here and our new system is pretty much the, uh, the switching, the replacement of uh, wherever they were at that would be so be an equivalent system and the way we know equivalent the symbol of equivalence would be this pretty much two-way arrow okay so that's the first one inter interchanging and then the second one is multiplying by scalar so if you let's say we have a system of two equations or you could have as much as you want a system of two equations you could single out any row and multiply it by scalar and that would still be equivalent so let's say I, I decide to just multiply the first equation in this system just the first one by a number a factor of 2 and then I rewrite it then I would get 10x1 plus 2x2 plus 34x3 equals 20 and then I just write down the, the second equation the way it is I would still have this the equivalent system as uh, it was in the first place I could multiply this one by some number and this one by another number, like this one by two and this one by five, that would still be, or I could just multiply one of those two out and it would still be equivalent. Okay, so that was number two. And then for number three, addition and replacement. So you can't have just addition without replacement. So you need to have both of them. What, let's say we have this system of two equations. I want to multiply, I want to add these two Okay, so I'm going to add these two, all right? And then what I get is 6x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 equals 9, all right? And then this, this, this equation that I get, I could replace it with one of those two participating equations in this addition operation. And then I just write the other one, uh, just along so let me just show you so this is our fir the first system that we the system given all right this is the system given okay I added those two okay let's just call this one row one and this one row two this resultant equation that I get from the addition of these two I could replace it with one of the one of these two in the new system and then just write the other one that was not replaced below or above so okay I'm gonna write the equivalent sign Let's say I'm going to choose to replace this resultant equation with equation 1. I would get 6x1. All right. Let me just leave a gap showing that we canceled x2 and x3. Okay. Equals 9. All right. So I decided to replace it with equation 1. In equation 2, you just write it the way it was. It's still the same. x2 minus x3 equals 2. Okay. And that's it. That's our new system, and it's equivalent to that one. Now, of course, you could mix and match a couple of, uh, so there's three rules, right? You could, you know, mo uh, combine one or one or more of these rules into one single operation, and it would still work. For example, let's say here in the, in the addition replacement, before adding these two, let's say my goal was to cancel out x1 for some reason. I could multiply the top row by negative 2. Okay, multiply that by negative 2. So now I have a coefficient of negative 4 here in front of the x. And once I add those two, I would cancel out the x1. I would still, I would still have uh, x2 and x3. But let, let's see. Let's take a look at that. If, um, if I multiply by negative 2 on the top, yeah, okay. So I'd get negative 4. I'd get negative 4x1 minus 6x2 minus 2x3 equals negative 14. And then the uh, row 2, I didn't do anything to it. I'm just going to write it. Write down the way I want it, uh, the way it is. X2 minus X3 equals 2. I just add those two. I see that the X1 cancels. Okay, so I'm going to add these two. X1 cancels, but these don't. Let's say for some intended purpose, I wanted to cancel out the X1. Then I would multiply 
the row one by negative two or row two by negative half. Okay, add those two. The resultant replaces one of those two, and then the other one that was not replaced, you just write it down the way it, it, it is. And uh, that would still be valid in terms of writing an equivalent, equivalent system. You know, these are uh, three rules for the, the main goal is to pretty much simplify the given system and rewrite it into REF or RREF form.